Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to install Boss Linux, which is Bharat Operating System Solutions. It's a GNU Linux distribution developed by CDEC. It is based on Debian OS. And with Boss Linux, we have four variants available. Boss Desktop, which is an Indian GNU Linux distribution customized for Indian environment. Azure Boss educational variant of Boss GNU Linux focusing Indian schools. And for servers, server variant supporting Intel and AMD architectures. Fourth one is Boss Mole, which aims at redesigning the Linux kernel with minimal core OO components. And I will be doing the installation on a KVM, which is with I have given four CPUs. Memory I have given four GB or four thousand MIB. You can download Boss Linux from bosslinux.in. I will share the link from where you can download any of the Boss Linux distribution variant. So let's proceed with the installation. Press escape key for boot menu. Installation for, from DVD. So 3. By default, uh, we get Boss Live. Boss Live, if you don't want to install and try, still want to try Boss Linux without installation, then choose Boss Live option here. For graphical installation, this is the option. Install in text mode, advanced option, help with the installation. Install with the speech synthesis. So let's, to keep it simple, let's proceed with the installation, graphical installation. Select it and hit enter. Select a language, English. Select your location, India. Configure the keyboard, American English. Detect and mount CD-ROM. Automatically it is happening. For loading additional components. Detecting network. So by default it it search for DC, DSCP. So I have DHCP working. So it it is it's it got IP address from DSCP. Give the host name of your choice. Give the domain name optionally optionally. Example dot com. Click continue. Configure the network. Create a user account, non root user. Username for your account, boss1, or you can change it also. Set the password, continue. Configure the clock, it is taking, it is config, configuring time over the network using NTP. Detect disks. Setting up partitioner. So to partition disk, we get four options. Guided use and entire disk, guided use entire disk and set up LVM. Guided use entire disk and set up encrypted LVM. So and fourth one is manual manually to create different mount points and partitions and different file systems if you want to use encryption then third one is the correct choice for example if you want to use it on, uh, use it on your desktop or laptop then it is for personal uses it is always good to use encrypted lvm 
So to keep it simple, I'm going to use entire disk. For servers and all, uh, it is good to use LVM. It gives flexibility with the storage management. So let's move ahead with the LVM based installation. Now it is showing us what all this are available. If you have like in this case, I have only one day, so it is showing us the VDA. VDA this one virtual disk one here it is this so click on continue select for partitioning all files in one partition recommended for new users it is recommended to go ahead with the with all the files in one partition however if you want if you don't want to want your system to become full with different files you can create different mount points or select this option separate home partition furthermore you can have slash home slash wire slash tmp partition separately so what happens is like if we, in this second case if our home file, home mount point is full with files then it won't cause any issue with other partitions or our machine will keep on running without any issues except you won't be able to create new files so to keep it simple let's move ahead with the only one partition Continue confirmation for write the changes to this and configure LVM. It is asking for confirmation. Yes, continue. It is showing a summary of what all things will be done. Like it will create xt4 file system for slash root mount point and with 38.5 gb swap 4.2 gb swap doesn't require any mount point slash boot with xt2 file system around 250 mb and this is for lvm so let's continue now final confirmation yes Continue so partitioning started Now installation of the system is going on. Let's have a look what is happening in the background. We can send Alt control control alt f4 key to see kernel message messages and installation related messages in case of issue with the installation we can always come to this console by sending control alt f4 key and have a look what is going on so and also we have virtual consoles available uh, using this the teletype terminal it is called tel tty or teletype terminal terminal during the installation we can create a partition or create a file system also and do different things for example let's have a look on connect ip address of this machine what we got from dscp So here you can see 192.168.122.88 with 24 subnet mask. Gateway 192.168.122.1. Let's have a look whether we are able to reach external network or not. Yes. If you want to have a look on disk, you can run command F disk FNL. and we have many commands available
now let's have a look on the current status of our, of our installation okay now it is prompting for grub installation so install the grub bootloader for the to the master boot record mbr yes install the grub bootloader on a hard disk if you want to give some path manually then this is the option here we have only one disk so let's go ahead with the dev vda continue now installation of grub is grub bootloader is going on grub means grand unified bootloader let's have a look on logs so here you can see grub installation succeeded now post installation tasks are going on let's go back to GUI finishing the installation ok it is complete installation is done click on continue and it will reboot finishing the installation it is removing live packages Now it will reboot automatically. Okay, it is rebooted. Grub splash screen for our newly installed Boss 7 Linux desktop version. let's log in and have a look on brand new environment about boss bharat operating system solutions genu linux distribution developed by developed by cdac for enhancing the use of free open source software throughout india and this is a license and all open source click ok application let's have a look games are there graphics GNU image manipulation program short form GIMP game for modifying files we have LibreOffice here short well for photos images and for internet connectivity internet browsing and all chromium browser empathy <coughs> evolution mail client it is for chatting firefox web browser and transmission gtk for yeah transfer and transmission it is for uh, office calendar dictionary LibreOffice. these are all for creating XLS file or documentation and all sound and video VLC media player if you have video cam then cheese is the software you can use to burn DVD DVD CD-ROM we have K3B for music this music to play videos this this videos option software system tools 
gparted for partitions to manage disks to apply patches updates package updater so overall all the required things good things are available you don't have to search for anything much by default i can see all the required things are already pre-installed in their desktop version of boss linux here good so many languages indian languages are available for example hindi so let's have a look on this yes so now we can type in type in hindi i don't know how to type so we have all almost all indian languages available tamil assamese hindi marathi Bengali, Gujarati, Kannada, Malayalam, Telugu. Let's have a look on this. All right, so it is quite easy to switch between different languages. Okay, that's it. Thanks.